Hello everyone, Keith here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Twitch alerts working on OBS for Linux. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that it is indeed working. There you go, got a little guy running across there, a little, little zombie, that's cute. But yeah, Twitch alerts, for, for those of you who don't know, is basically a way uh, for you to be alerted and people on your stream to see whatever someone contri uh, contributes to your stream. So for instance, if someone follows you, uh, Twitch alerts, you can set it up to where a little notification pops up and it says their name. Uh, you know, if they subscribe or donate or whatever, it pops up on the screen. It's just a great, uh, just a great way to interact with your streamers and just people who, uh, you know, like to contribute to the channel. It's just a great way for them to get involved. And, you know, it's just a win-win. In my opinion, you need Twitch alerts for a stream. I think it's streaming 101. But basically, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up on Linux. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a Twitch alerts account. Uh, it's going to need to be linked to your Twitch account. <coughs> and then once you got that set up, you just want to go ahead and go through these settings here. And just set up whatever settings you'd like. Uh, once you're done with that, you're going to want to pay attention specifically to the stream widgets section. This is where you change the layout of your like alerts and just the sounds it plays and just all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. One interesting thing about this is this URL right here. We're going to make sure to pay attention to these URLs uh, because they do come in handy later on. Uh, so once you got your Twitch alert set up and you got everything nice and the way you want it, uh, you can come over here. Uh, I'm going to make sure to include a link to uh, this GitHub repository in the description. Uh, it is important. This is actually needed in order for Twitch alerts to work properly on Linux. Uh, the other way kind of doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is OBS QT WebKit. It's basically a plugin for OBS that allows you to render web pages within uh, an OBS like stream. Uh, you just have to make sure that you know you supply it with a URL, which we already have. But what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go down here to uh, clone or download. And you're gonna want to click download zip, and that will actually download the entire repository into a zip in your downloads folder. So then the next step, obviously, is to actually go in to the downloads folder unzip the uh, zip you just downloaded and then go into the folder. Now uh, one important thing is before you try to build this software uh, you're going to want to make sure you have the dependencies listed here. And then of course once you're in the directory and you have the dependencies installed you just run make it will then build the package and then you do make install make sure not to use sudo because this is being installed locally uh, in, a per in the uh, users directory so you're going to want to make sure that you do make install and not sudo make install. Uh, but yeah, once you run make install, it then puts the plugin uh, in its own little folder for OBS to read. And then you go ahead and you go into OBS uh, and uh, when, make sure that you uh, don't have OBS running while you're building the software because then you'll have to close it and open it up again for it to be showed. Uh, but basically, yeah, you go into here in the sources, you add a source, and there should now be a new option for OBS, QT WebKit Browser. Uh, and this is, Basically, like I said, it's like a browser inside of OBS that will render web pages. So, and then you, of course, come over here and you can do a local file if you want to. Uh, you have the width here, the height of the, basically how big you want the page to be rendered. You could use custom CSS, which is really interesting. Uh, you could set the frame rate. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you remember that URL I was talking about, if Chrome wants to decide to stop like bugging out on me. Yeah, this is the URL. So you just take this. <clears throat> pop that in there, you hit OK, and there you go. So now whenever you do something, uh, for instance, say, geez, Chrome is really not liking me today. So say, for instance, someone follows, uh, let's test the follow. It should now come up on the screen. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it works, it's pretty easy to set up actually, and uh, it's really great in general. I shout outs to the guy who made this plugin. Uh, it's just a really great simple piece of software and really easy to set up. But yeah, anyway, you just go into here, you go into donation goes, goals, you add another source, QT WebKit, and you just put that URL in there. And then you could of course uh, test it out. Uh, and then there you go, you know, it's really, really interesting. You see here, I actually have a donation goal down there. Uh, and I also have the alert box running on top of it, which is right here. The alert, the alert box will appear transparent. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, 
yeah, and overall, it's just really easy to, to set up and use. Uh, it's a great way to interact with your viewers. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys. This has been GhostSquad57 showing you guys how to get Twitch alerts working on Linux on OBS. On OBS and Linux. Okay, yeah. Tongue twister there. But anyway, yeah. Take it easy, guys.